Hey guys, Shadow so here. Welcome back to a brand new Gears Tactics video. So as you can see today, we have the full game. This is going to be my Gears Tactics campaign gameplay walkthrough. The part one, the introduction of a brand new Gears of War story campaign. You know, it's quite surreal if you think about it. Only six months ago, we were enjoying and experiencing the Gears 5 campaign. And now in April 2020, we are getting the amazing opportunity to jump back into the Locust War set 12 years before the events of Gears of War. And only two years after the emergence of the Locust. I am so, so ready to jump in. As you can see, a little bit of a background information right here. We have Gabe Diaz, who is the father of Gears 5's main protagonist character, Kate Diaz. So it's going to be a super, super fun and enjoyable and exciting brand new Gears story experience. And I literally can't wait to jump in. So without further ado, this is my part one introduction, the beginning of my Gears Tactics campaign and gameplay walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get it. After years of endless war, humanity had finally found peace. Until Emergence Day. When a monstrous new enemy, black-hearted and savage, emerged from below and laid siege to our world. Our losses have been great. Our resolve is far greater. My fellow tyrants, today, the coalition of ordered governments strikes back. These unclean beasts, these locusts, will advance no further. I, Chairman Prescott, have authorized a full planetary strike. From our Hammer of Dawn weapons arsenal. On my order, the COG has placed infantry detachments in key cities to mop up any surviving locust. For those citizens unable to evacuate to safety in time, the Coalition appreciates your sacrifice. Forgive us. This is the only way. Chin up, Private. If you can survive Prescott's bullshit, you can survive anything. He's torching the whole world to kill the grubs, Sarge. Am I ever gonna see him again? I don't know. Looking for shelter? Come on, join the party. You're gonna wanna get that. Diaz. Special order, Sergeant. Proceed immediately to General Beckett's office at CIC to retrieve a classified document. Acknowledge. No, you've got the wrong gear. I just run the motor pool. You have your orders. Control out. And let me guess, you're coming too. Well, if you insist. CIC is up ahead.
drone. I see him. We see how it goes. Yo, that's a miss. It's kind of like a, a live Gears of War chess chess match, you know? It's so, bro, it looks, it, 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 I feel like this is going to be fun, man. This is going to be cool. Okay, here we go. I do believe, obviously, like every, you know, new Gears game, because Gears is very, very complex, even in a different genre like this one we have right here. So we say, camera, control the camera with R, or by moving the cursor to the screen edge. Okay. Get yeah, we cover, should be good. We should be good. I like the, uh, fight in the motor pool. I like the little oh Gears God. theme cursor, right? Move Gabe into cover, new objective. One action, okay. I'm so yeah, every single unit stuff. usually has Maybe like now. three actions per turn. So like you take your turn and then the enemy take their turn. So it's it's very, very sort of like interactive, right? Uh, shooting, use Y to activate abilities and then select the shoot ability to target an enemy or use A and RT over them. Uh, so I would go Y with abilities, A, a. A shot. Oh, bro, look at this. This is what makes this Gears of War right there. You see that? Target down. Like, the amount of stuff that they've injected into this genre from the mainline Gears games. Like, we're going to be, obviously, exploring so much more as we play along. But, man, bro, it, it, like, 2020 Gears. I would have never imagined this is what I would be doing right now. Uh, shooting. Use Y to continue. Okay, we've got to take out the other guy as well. Uh, can we even hit him in cover? Your trigger finger broken. Shoot yeah, we got a hit chance of 12%, right? Not Drone good. In. We need to flank him. Roger that. Moving into, sit into flank new objective. All right, we're going to, you know, look, like, bro, look, look, this is gears, man. Flank him. Like, the flanking gears will always work, you know, get you that he's perfect angle. Now. Yeah, he's definitely, definitely some easy pickings right now. Uh, shoot hammer burst, drone new objective. I was going to say, we got hammer burst. We're using, like, enemy weapons already. Tactical communications. TACCOM, it gives you more detailed information on your chance to hit. Use R to TACCOM. I, I'm actually using a Xbox One controller playing Open on PC fire. right now. So, right. All right, looks like it's a stick as well. So basically, when you use the TACCOM, like any Gears game, it obviously gives you a much more bigger UI system when it comes to the information on screen. Uh, and in this sort of like genre and game as well, like that is very, very useful. But... I feel, you know, pretty confident in my gears knowledge, man. Like, we should we should be sweet. We should be sweet. So, we're going to turn that TACCOM off for, for now. Uh, you can see that we've got, like, a 100% hit rate. Yeah, what, 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 what gun is Sid Redburn got? He's a level 1 vanguard. And he has... You've got him dead to right. Yeah, I'm ready, bro. He has a retro lancer. Yeah, that's cool, man. Stayed underground. I'm really, really interested to see, like... If any of the old Gears of War, like Gears of War weapons that never showed up in Gears 5 are appearing in this game, right? That'd be super cool. Uh, actions. Most abilities like moving and shooting require actions. Some abilities such as moving a long distance can cost multiple actions. Each unit is three actions that you can split between a movement, shooting, and skills. Oh, bro, that is so cool. The hammer strikes aren't going to wait for us. Finish off these grubs so we can get to the CIC. Won't even break a sweat. All right, let's get it. We're going to take out the remaining uh, couple of Locust Drones right here. Uh, kill all enemies. Gabe and Sid now have additional abilities unlocked. So I do believe, you know, we could shoot these guys, but I think the game wants us to activate our abilities as we go, right? Just so, you know, you guys, as well as my, like me, myself, can learn the game as we play. Uh, all right, let's see a chainsaw, bro. I'm ready. I'm ready for the first execution of the walkthrough. Oh, there it is from behind. I really do like what the Coercion Studio and Splash Damage have done right here with like injecting so much like homage and just so much originality that makes the Gears of War games what they are into this game. Even though it's not like a, a third person cover based shooter, right? But it does have those sort of like camera elements. Uh, kill all more enemies. Okay, can we like just, I don't know, move to this guy? Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to get a retro charge on now, right? Bayonet charge does not work over cover. You have to charge in a straight line at an exposed enemy to kill them with the banner. Okay, I've got you. Let's oh, I'm ready, bro. Is this going to be like a, a cutscene animation as well? It is. Oh, it's so cool. I wonder if there's like crazy right. amounts of executions in this game as well that maybe you can Red unlock burn. it like you can in Gears 5. Because there's no I'm microtransactions in this game. Everything in Gears Tactics so is unlockable. I, here? I guess someone up there likes you, Sergeant. 
Uh, do we just move over here? Oh, this is so cool, man. I didn't think you could make a pack of wretches real scary, right? But man, that was that was a madness. They were just eating that guy Multiple like dead. Take him out before they swarm us. Move set into cover. Okay, we're good. So yeah, it's kind of like you know basic gears of war controls, right? Like press A, hit the cover, press A again to get into cover, sight. slide in. You know, maybe a little bit of wall bouncing here and there. <laughs> uh, Overwatch. Overwatch is an ability that lets your unit shoot during the enemy turn. Your unit will shoot once for each action that they had when Overwatch was set. I think this is like a, a defensive position, right? So you put the Overwatch on, and if any of the enemies walk into your Overwatch, you shoot them. Uh, and obviously it goes vice versa for the enemy team as well on. Uh, on the Let's Locust side. Overwatch. Yo, okay, we're going through the tutorial game, Diaz, bro. You're already getting on my nerves, You're already getting on my nerves, bro. Chill, relax. I've never played a, a turn-based strategy game before. We've got to learn. And then once we learn, we'll definitely get the hang of it, right? I I'm pretty confident, man. Very, very quickly. Because obviously, at the end of the day, it's still a Gears game, you, you know? Like, if you've played the all of the Gears games, all of the Gears campaigns, multiplayer, horde mode, overrun, beast mode, you name it. Good. You're definitely going to have a lot more, like, Gears knowledge, like, going into this game. Knowing, like, what the weapons do, the different abilities, different enemies. Uh, you know, how executions work, how teamwork works. All that good stuff. Okay, we're going to move what Gabe Diaz forward as well. Are we getting into like a, a campy defensive position right here? Yeah, you got to you got to remember being a Gears game like you got to hit that cover, right? My bad. <laughs> Overwatch with Gabe as well. Okay. Yeah, you just literally just drag it out like a cone, right? Scanning for grubs now. All right, here we go. Enemy turn. Hey, there it is. Oh, yo, we missed that last one. There you go. Yeah, we got three out of four, not bad. Like, this feels very, very fast-paced, right? Like, even though it's turn-based and, you know, you play the game in terms of, like, you taking a turn and then an enemy take a turn, like, you're basically setting out your attacking strategy, right? Or maybe even your defending strategy, depending on the situation at hand. And then you have an enemy Locust Horde doing the same. Like, it's very, very interesting, you know? Uh, okay, what's next? Do we just literally need to take him out? Uh, if we hit the activation bar, you can actually like switch, weapon, uh, switch weapons right now. We have a retro lancer, a snub pistol, and some nades. I can't move until you disable their Overwatch. So I do believe this is like a, a snub pistol special ability. Oh, yo, the, yo, the snub is super, super accurate on this game. That wasn't too bad. All right, move it into a flank again. You can kind of see how, you know, you use the gears knowledge of the game, but also the turn-based strategy genre itself. All right, let's take out this cheeky drone, baby. I'm ready. Oh, he's down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold up. we got low ammo. Do I need to reload? Shoot wretch as well. Wretch down. Time to finish off that drone. Executions. Enemies have a chance to be down when their health is depleted. Moving a unit onto a down enemy will execute them. Executing down enemies give one bonus action point to all other friendly units. So not the actual unit executing itself, but the rest of your squad mates. That is pretty, pretty cool. I like that. Because obviously, like, you can get a bunch of different executions in a row. Obviously, combining things like chainsaws, uh, retro charges, which are also, you know, tied to and bases executions as well. Just to continually give you, like, more actions to defeat the enemy. I like it, man. Uh, I definitely feel like that's a massive difference between this game and the XCOM series, you know. Pretty nice. We're actually learning a lot really, really quickly right now. Uh, execute downed enemy. Okay, here we go. Execution time. Uh, I've got to do it with Gabe Diaz. There you go. It should be like a lance execution, right? Hey! Oh, yeah, the classic gears, like, while you execute the enemies, they go inside cover, right? That's just the gears thing right there. Uh, shoot hammer burst drone, new objective. Yeah, I like how uh, often the game tells you what to do, right? 
because I do feel like this is the type of game where if you're not really too sure what's going on or you don't have a big understanding, you can definitely get a little bit lost in the gameplay, right? Right, we got that guy down, by the way. We got to remember for the execution. Oh, baby, here we go. We got wretches coming in. More contacts. This better be one hell of an important document we're after. Above our pay grade, Sergeant. Let's just get to the CIC before we're flash fried. I do remember we got to reload, right? So the reload is right here. Got to reload. There you go. On time, baby. On cue. So our objective, oh, this is so nice. Like, even though we're positioned right here, we can actually, like, look around the map, and this is where we've got to get to, right? Because I, I, I do believe we've got to head inside this building right here for a, uh, a secret, what what was it, like a, a classified document? Most likely, you know, COG government official, something like that. Uh, reload. We reloaded, right? We're good? Reloading. Confirm it. you basically got to confirm everything, right? Okay. Uh, we got to go for this execution. Yo, if we can actually make it one, there you go. Going now. Nice. Yeah, take his head off. Oh, yo, the classic retro execution right there. All right, we got to remember, look, there's a couple wretches ahead of us right now. So uh, we got to play with my man, uh, Sid Redburn. One more move. Okay, we're going to actually set up an overwatch. If we put it like here, because the wretches are most likely... Run this way, right? And then if we move my man Gabe to here, he's got two out of four actions available. Nice. Yeah, we can actually take a, a couple shots at the enemy. Actually, I need to reload, bro. Oh no. Okay, hold on. Actually, no. If we switch to a, uh, if we switch to a pistol real quick, because obviously you got like multiple weapons, right? It's nice. All right, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, yo, we could even, like, set up with a, uh, defensive overwatch with the snub pistol, right? It works with any weapon. Nice! There you go. Yeah, obviously it's a snub pistol, right? So you can see the difference in the cones right there. On the like, hopefully, guys, as we are playing this tutorial, are, you know, learning and understanding the game as well. Because I feel like everybody's gonna go into Gears Tactics or maybe not even, like, give the game a chance with the completely wrong impression, like... This is true Gears of War at its core, just in a completely new way to play, you know? And I feel like as we get closer to, you know, bigger enemies, like the, the Ukon uh, appearances and uh, engagements and, like, boss battles and, uh, you know, you never know who else may show up in some Gears of War cutscenes, right? Uh, I do believe we will get access to the Thrashball Coltrane a little bit later on in the story, so... That is going to be a fun time as well. Okay, we're going to take out this wretch. Uh, we're going to save my retro. You know, we don't need to use, like, special execution ability moves on wretches, you know. I, f I do believe they're, like, one shot anyway. Especially with a retro out close, right? Come on. Nice. Uh, okay, we're going to move a little bit forward. Is there any, like, collectibles in this game? Like, because I want to try and not miss out on anything. Right, just going to get a little bit closer to the objective. You can actually, like, rotate the world as well with the D-pad. But, uh, you know, I find it quite fun to just leave the camera of the, the game itself where it is. Uh, as you're moving forward, obviously, like, if the enemies start flanking you, ta-da! You can actually turn the battlefield around, you know, and even have a, a much better view than before. So, uh, if we put it in default like this, all right, we've actually got three moves right now. I was going to say, is this going to cost two or three? Advancing. I feel like more enemies are going to shot, right? It can't be just that easy. A bunch of wretches. <laughs> no way. Where's the drones at? Uh, if you set up Overwatch as well with the pistol, that's fine. On the lookout. Everyone, look sharp. Enemy turn. I'm ready. All right, we got four wretches so far. Not bad. A 33% chance. All right, let me quickly check my snub. Let's actually do like a... A little comparison right here. Look at that, bro. The snub pistol is so, so good in this game. Nice. There you go. Yo, one wrench out of the way. 50%, 57% chance again. Yeah, we might as well just keep taking them out, right? There you go. Battlefield cleared. Oh, no. I didn't even know the iconic gear sound was in the game when you kill enemies. Oh, that was so good. Actually, no, we might be good. We might be good. I was going to say, it's the enemy's turn, but nobody showed up.
Got Reavers doing a flyby. Inside, go! Now what are we looking for? The most classified looking file they got. Plenty of time to read that later. We're in for a fun ride, you and me. No. I told Prescott, I don't do that shit anymore. Time to go. Couldn't hide out in the motor pool forever, Diaz. Closing in fast! Get back to the APC! Shit! Reaver dropped off reinforcements! Here they come! Wretches! We don't have time for this! Clear him out with a frag grenade. Oh, yes. Here we go. Grenade time. Uh, throw frag grenade at wretches. New objective. Obviously, very, 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 very useful. Uh, obviously, very, very handy for upcoming emergence holes as well. Whenever we get to that point in the game. Throw frag grenade. Oh, you get to control it like a regular Gears game. Look at this. Yeah, we're taking them all out. Bye-bye. Frag out. Four for the price of material one. there. Now let's kill the rest so we can evac. Alright, we're gonna defeat the remaining couple of enemies. They are on Overwatch right now. It's like a, a little eye that shows up. I do believe that symbolizes that the enemy can see you, right? So that's why we went there. Moving up. Yeah, we're going to uh, use all our uh, free actions just to get a little bit ahead. They're literally set in, like, defensive uh, overwatch position right now. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, if we take out my man literally a ahead of us. 90% hit chance. Yo, he's almost dead. Oh, partial hit. You got that, you know, hammer burst, burst fire weaponry. Oh, yeah, not today. Yo, they're setting up mad Overwatch. That's crazy. Copy. Yeah, and if obviously we down him for the execution, you might as well take it, right? Oh wait, what? Oh, I was gonna say, have I got like no ammo? I thought I had like the clicking sound. <laughs> Because of the enemy were on Overwatch, they uh, actually were able to shoot me, right? It's sort of like a, an activation sort of thing. All right, we can execute this guy as well. Grab that extra action point from a man, Sid Redburn. Uh, and then we literally just get into cover right here. I would say this side, right? And then Sid Redburn should be able to. Are we going to be able to shoot this guy? Yeah, we literally just go here, right? We can take a couple shots, maybe. I do believe he is set up in uh, Overwatch right now. There you go. I think you got to look for those sort of like lines of sight, right? Classic gears, man. <laughs> Classic gears. Wait, hold on. If we retrocharge this guy, let's, let's quickly take out, take him out. Hey, there it is. What now? There, a way around. Break the goddamn 
Phoenix Cloud. What's the play here? One thing for Prescott. The man's thorough. Come on. Let's find a way back. To a goddamn crisp. Better hope our APC isn't torched too. Or it's going to be a long walk to the bunker. Man, look at this. Look at this. Uh, return to vehicle. New objective. I'm ready. Here we go. Yo, what is that? Is that a gear pack on the map? Cases. Okay, we're not calling them gear packs. Let's call them cases, right? Equipment cases can be found during missions. Move on to a case to collect it. After the mission, open the case to get powerful upgrades. Nice. I'll take that. I'll take that. This mission will be good for you, Diaz. Whatever you say. Don't play coy. You were flying up the ranks, then you bust yourself down to the motor pool? For what? To get the hell away from Prescott's missions. Okay. Oh, yo, go pick up the gear case. Requisition. Bet there's something in here worth the effort. Common case collected. Nice. So we're just going to uh, try and move through the rubble, right? Obviously, the locusts are going to show up at some point. Because it's uh, now the enemy's turn. <laughs> you know, even if you are just moving through the world, like, the enemy have to have a turn. Get up there. Oh, baby. Drugs will be tunneling out soon. They're already back at it, huh? So much for Prescott's hammer strikes. Okay, we gotta we gotta play this super super okay. tactical, by the way. So Sid Redburn, the character we have right now, is the only guy in my squad that has frag grenades. I would probably say emergence holes and groups of wretches, unless it isn't applicable to the situation, depending on you know who you're fighting. Uh, maybe you know even using frag grenades against bosses, but. That's what I'm going to save my frag grenades in this whole walkthrough for. If we move a little bit closer to here. What's next? We should be close enough next turn, right? And if we move up, my man Gabe Diaz. Keep up. Just behind. And if we set up a uh, overwatch, right? Like this way. On the lookout. Here they come. We got locusts coming up from underground. So I think like the emergence hole shows up, it takes a turn to to spawn in, and then the enemy spawn in the next slight wave. grenade in that emergence hole if we don't close it they'll just keep pouring out you think this is the first e-hole i've seen sergeant emergence holes emergence holes allow the enemies to bring in reinforcements after an e-hole is completely open you can close it with a frag grenade 
E-holes cannot be destroyed while they are only cracked open. Which is obviously the like turn and sequence that we just saw before the drones came out of it. Uh, okay, here we go. Confirm. We're good. We, you know, we we definitely know how an e-hole works, right? So if I if I got enough range to to try and throw this frag grenade in there. Oh yeah, look at that! It's directly going in. Throw it, baby. Let it loose. Oh my god. Wait, what? Oh, and I, bro, I literally can't throw a grenade for another. I'm ready. No way for another six. What? Yo, game. Was that a setup right there? So I fail anyway, regardless. Damn. All right, we're gonna gonna have to use our guns to take these drones out. But obviously, we haven't closed the emergence holes, so um, they're gonna keep spawning in. All right, we got three actions with Gabe Diaz. Yeah, if we take out this first drone. And then I would say if we switch back to Sid Redburn. If we hit the uh, execution with the Retro Lancer. Yep, moving. That should give my man Gabe Diaz another action, right? We've got to try and play this very, very tactical right now. Because we screwed up on the emergence hole. I can't believe it. Am I a real Gears fan? I should have known because they had line of sight on me, right? That they could have easily shot me and it actually, like, breaks your defense and you can't even get a frag grenade throw in there because you're getting shot at, you know? It's quite realistic. I like it. Uh, okay. Uh, we got one more action with Sid Redburn. They've actually got drones, so... Wait, hold up. If we use Gabe Diaz to stim grenade heal... Sid. Let's heal you up. Give him a little bit of extra health. You know, not too much. You could probably upgrade that as the game goes along, right? It's fine. Uh, okay, we got one more action with Gabe Diaz. Yep. But hold up, hold up. I've got I've got a little bit of a plan coming up right now. The only issue is... Uh, actually, I, I, I don't think we should do that. I don't think we should do that. I was going to get a little bit closer, but it's probably not a good idea. Uh, we'll probably just take these guys out. Uh, if we go Retro Lancer, shoot the guy in front of me. Oh, we downed him. No way. Oh, he's got no... Uh... <laughs> I can't do anything else. Okay, hold up. Wait, can we execute him right now? No, we can't execute him. Okay. We're going to reload it. Oh, we're going to have to reload, man. Hold up. Ammo's in. Like, even reloading takes uh, a little bit of skill, right? And action as well. Because this game's all about timing. Okay, we got a wretch. Imagine if that was it, right? I'd say that's pretty easy. Uh-oh. 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 Yo, my man Sid is down. What? Enemy reinforcements. Uh, revive. Once per mission, units can help themselves up with the heroic second wind ability, leaving them with only one action point. Okay. So if we hit Y, we go to second wind. Uh, this unit revives and gets one action. It won't trigger Overwatch. Okay, that's a good idea. I like that. I like that. Back on my feet. Oh, nice. We actually got a lot more health back as well. And we're in cover. Sweet. Okay. So, hold up, hold up, hold up. If we... If we take out this wretch with... The retro. Okay, now. We're going to have uh, three more moves with Gabe Diaz. So, if we go for the execution... Changing position. Oh, we're going to get shot, that's fine. We're going to get shot, that's fine. Take him out with the execution. That should give our uh, man, Sid Redburn, another action. One. Oh, this is getting very, very tactical. I like it. Uh, okay, we're doing. We're not doing too bad. I, I still don't have. I don't think any frag grenades for five whole rounds. Pretty mad. Okay, and then if we go for a chainsaw. Like that, with our final, uh, you know, action move for their insta kill. And I'm not even warmed up. 
There you go. Okay, and now if we activate Overwatch over the emergence hole just to cover Gabe Diaz for right now. Okay, we're actually getting a hang of it. I'm, uh, I'm understanding the game a lot better. I like this uh, emergence hole because obviously it's like a an unlimited respawn for a set amount of enemies. It gives you a lot of time in this tutorial like first mission to really understand the game. Like, good job TC and Splash Damage right there. I like that. I like it. Alright, here we go. Reinforcement time. We got... Like, the Reavers looked to either a Reaver or an Emergence Hole brings in enemy reinforcements, right? Obviously, the enemies can just be scattered throughout the world as well. Because, like I said earlier in the video, like, we're only a couple years into, into Emergence days, so... Uh, okay, your E-Hole is finesse. We gotta reload. There's a wretch right next to me. I didn't even realize until I looked at him. <laughs> no way. Probably actually use my snub pistol. There you go. You and me, save asshole. an extra bit of ammo in our retro, right? I like that. So you can use like the variety of your weapons as well. Uh, okay, we got to move forward, bro. It's time. Yeah, we literally just move to uh, wherever we can, like right here. Welcome. There you go. Ready. Then my man Gabe Diaz has got three moves. That's crazy. Yeah, we literally just move in front of us, right? Probably best thing to do. Got locust activity. Oh no, the wrench is going to be way too close, bro. Yeah, when the enemy have got wretches, like, you probably want to set up for Overwatch, right? Because my guy is surrounded right now. What is this? Yo, Gabe, you got to get in cover, bro. Let's get this there show you rolling. go. Okay, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to... Can I... Uh, what's the percentage right now? 50% chance? Okay, not too bad. The wretches are very, very weak, you know? Uh, that's one taken out. If we move forward one. I should be able to take out another wretch. There you go. Alright, the plan is working. Uh, yeah, I do believe the uh, APC right is right here. The objective. So we'll, I do believe we're almost towards the end of the mission. Just got to try and escape the uh, the horde right now. Uh, okay, we've got Gabe Diaz. Uh, pretty much the same thing, right? Take out the... Uh, okay, that isn't a wretch. <laughs> no way. I thought I was uh, shooting a wretch. Hold up. Wait, I actually can't see the wretch. What? Yeah, we got to use our snub pistol to disable this shot real quick. There you go. Interrupted. Nice. And then if we... If we hit the overwatch just because there's one more wretch so close to us, man. So close. Yeah, if we literally just go like this, right? <laughs> like, you're going to have to walk into it, man. Yo, perfect. Yo, we almost took him out. He's got 10 health remaining. Uh-oh. 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 Yo, Gabe is down. Yo, not again. Yo, these locusts are, are picking on me, man. Wait, can Sid Red Band... Oh, no. It shares the abilities. Okay. Yeah, that's on cooldown as well. When one of your units is down, it can be helped back up. Move onto the down unit I'm to revive here. it. Okay, so uh, we're going to use Super Burn first just to get my guy back into the game. There up. you go. Yeah, they're going to shoot me, bro. That's fine, dude. Yo, get back in the game, Mama Hand Gabe Diaz. I like that. I like that. The revive system's in there as well. Teamwork. It's all about, you know, squad, teamwork, tactics. Gears, knowledge, and strategy. Uh, do you feel like this is the, the last enemy? Should we go out in a little bit of style? we got the retro charge, right? Oh, I can't use it. My man Gabe Diaz is in the way. What about his chainsaw? There you go. I like your style, soldier. Like, obviously you can't use unlimited chainsaws, right? Would that, that would be a little bit OP. Hey, battlefield cleared. No enemies detected. Uh, I do believe we could just move out of here now, right? Proceeding on foot. Yep. Let's keep on keeping on, bro. Here comes the shit show. 
Let's make this count. Look around, Diaz. War's not over. We need to talk about Prescott's mission. This grub? Name's Ukon. Save it. I fix things now. And that's it. Shit. The bunker! No blast marks. This wasn't the hammer. No, it wasn't. This was Ukon. So this is the grease pit you traded your command for. Comms work in this dump at least? Let's hope not. Lieutenant Colonel Diaz, it's been too long. It's Sergeant now, Chairman. Hope this was worth dodging your hammer strikes for. Yes, well, I'm glad to see your time in the motor pool has indulged your talents. Open it. You're looking at the only known photos of a locust called Ukon, the enemy's resident geneticist, a monster who makes monsters. Corpses, Brumots, his work. We need him eliminated. I don't run ops anymore. Not after Gekka Ridge. Sulking won't undo the past, Diaz. You wanna save lives today? Stop squandering your tactical gifts and take Ukon down before he creates something even worse. I can't offer you much. No personnel, no resupply. Hold up. If this grub's as dangerous as you say, I need equipment. Soldiers. An army. Oh, you always were resourceful. Recruit whatever gears you find and figure out the rest. As for your incident in Gatka, try to do better this time. A heartwarming reunion. If we do this, you work for me, not Prescott. Got it? You're the boss, motor pool. Come on. Let's find some more gears. Oh! Oh, no way! Bro! Crashball Cole pre-order bonus. Thank you for playing. Gears Tactics, Thrashball Cole will join your squad in Act 1, Chapter 4. No way. Bro, you're telling me we're going to see Private Augustus Cole after the loss of his mother. Quits, you know, Thrashball, leaves the Hanover Cougars team and signs up for the Coalition of Ordered Government's army, which actually, like, saw a spike. I, I do believe it's in, like, one of the books that, like, 
400% increase in volunteers, uh, you know, signing up to, you know, join the new Kog army for the Locust War invasion. Like, man, I cannot wait to see the Coltrane in Gears Tactics. I really do wonder, like, who else is going to show up in the game? I don't know. I don't know. So there you have it, guys. That was my Gears Tactics a campaign a gameplay walkthrough introduction, part one of my walkthrough of the whole story campaign. Obviously, if you guys are enjoying the video and series so far, if you do want to continue watching the rest of the campaign walkthrough, obviously, make sure to subscribe. I have literally crazy and crazy amounts of YouTube videos all based on Gears Tactics going live throughout the next couple of days. So if you don't want to miss out on any of that, hit that subscribe button. Make sure that notifications are all turned on. Please make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me what you think. Or what is your guys' opinion on the Gears Tactics game so far? Is it what you expected? Is it maybe a surprise to you? Does this video or watching the gameplay or even just like seeing the new Gears story make you guys want to get this game? Or are you just, you know, going to wait it out maybe for the Xbox console release? And just watch the YouTube videos for now. Definitely let me know. Get a video, thumbs up and share if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I shall see you in the next one.